earlier in this birthday special, I did Jeopardy 2003. Now we're just going to go back an edition and do Jeopardy 2nd edition for this segment. Segment number 8 of Michael's birthday special. Hi, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's set things up before we begin our game. Okay, adjust the game so it's exactly the way you like. Normal game? Okay, so how many people out there? Player one? Player one, here's your buzz in key. If you'd like, you can also use your mouse to write down your name. Putting Michael's. I'm putting Michael in because the money's going to him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can try and draw his uh, face, the Michael Abbott face. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can try and draw the Michael face. <laughs> okay, if you guys wondering what that is, that's not an evil face. That is uh, uh, Michael Abbott's uh, laughing face that he usually gives me whenever I put up a stupid answer that I play alone on Family Feud 2000. That's his laugh face he puts up there usually. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's not nothing From evil. The that's Sony his picture studio. It was a pretty bad job drawing that in. Player one, you start us off. All right. Let's do Around the World for 100. The highest level Mormon church meetings take place in this city, founded by Mormons on July 24th, 1847. Anybody? Player one. What is Salt Lake City? Absolutely. Pick again. Uh, around the world for 200. Three 1200 year old Viking ships are on display at the Viking Skip Fuset in this Norwegian capital. Anyone at all? Player one. What is Oslo? That's the spot exactly. <laughs> Another uh, wild guess. Around the world, 300. Goat Island separates this famous landmark into Horseshoe Falls and American Falls. Player one. What is Niagara Falls? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Around the world, for 400. You'll find the main campus of the University of Puerto Rico in this city's Rio Piedras district. Player one. What is San Juan? Very good. Very good. Pick, Pick again. again. <laughs> Around the world for 500. When Columbus sailed this ocean blue, it was about 33 feet narrower than it is now. Player one. What is the Atlantic? Exactly. Exactly. Um, carrots for 100. The carotene in carrots supplies you with this vitamin. Player two? What is vitamin C? No. No. Too bad. Player one. What is A? <laughs> All right. <laughs> carrots for 200. In parts of the world, carrots are roasted, <laughs> ground, and used as a substitute for this morning drink. Player one. What is coffee? <laughs> Absolutely. Pick again. What is A? <laughs> Among veggies, lettuce is a salad crop, broccoli is a coal crop, and carrots, this underground type of crop. Player two, what is a root crop? Oh, yes. Should have rang in. Carrots for 400, Alex. Carrots are one of the octet of vegetables in this Campbell's drink introduced nationwide in 1948. Player one. What is V8? Absolutely. Pick again. 
carrots for 500. This large state is the top carrot producing state. Anyone at all? It's either Texas or California. California. This <laughs> is the correct question. Five golden rings, 100. It's no match for whisk laundry detergent. Player two? What is a soap ring? Good answer, but sorry. That's wrong. Anyone at all? It can ring in quick and still Here's get it wrong. Ring for. around the collar. Rings for 200. Symbol of success and achievement associated with a merry-go-round. Anyone? This is what we wanted. Let's do uh, <coughs> weights and measures for 100. A long one is 2,240 pounds. A short one is 2,000. Player one. What is a ton? Exactly. Measures for 200. Whether you hide your light under it or not, it's equal to 35.24 liters. Player three. What is a bushel? Definitely. Weights and measures. For 300, please, Alex. Abbreviated K, this international standard is equal to approximately 3,281 feet. Anyone at all? Here's what we're oh, looking for. Oh, I should have said that. Weights and measures. For 400, please, I wasn't Alex. sure enough. Hold your breath. If you travel 20,000 leagues under the sea, you'd go 60,000 of these. Anyone at all? Miles. Take a look, here's the right response. I'll take movie directors for 100, please. Roman was this director's 1984 autobiography. Player three. Who is Roman Polanski? Absolutely. Pick again. Movie directors for 200, please, Alex. He directed Frenzy and Psycho. Player one. Who is Alfred Hitchcock? All right. Movie directors, 300. The Swedish Film Institute honors excellence in filmmaking with an annual prize named for this director. Player two. Who is Ingmar Bergman? Exactly. Let's try 13 letter words for 100. Astonished as if suddenly smacked by lightning's partner. Player one. What is thunderstruck? Yes. Yes. Waits for 500. What we Yanks would call a trillion, the Brits would call <laughs> this. Player three. What is a billion? Exactly. Hmm. Movie directors. For 400, please, Alex. In Platoon, Charlie Sheen's character Chris was based on this man who directed the film. Anyone at all? Take a look. Here's the right response. I'd like 13 letter words for 200, Alex. It's the adjective for someone who irrationally fears black cats or a category like 13 letter words. Player three. What is superstitious? Absolutely. Pick again. 13 letter words for 300, please, Alex. Foul is foul, but pears are fair, and peas should please a follower of this dietary practice. Is that it? Anyone? This is the correct question. Vegetarianism. 13 letter words for 400, please. It's a more general term for an algebraist. That just about sums it up. Player two. What is mathematician? Absolutely. Pick again. 13 letter words for 500. Answer. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? And player two got the Daily Double. From lower Latin for killing, it's the kind of shame that's so humiliating you could just die. Player <coughs> two? What is pseudo-suicidal? No, that's not right. Ah, you failed. He only bet 300. Take a look. Here's the right Mortification. response. Mortification. 
Give me Sorry movie about my directors sneeze. for 500. This director of Breezy and Bird starred in In the Line of Fire. Player two? Who is Clint Eastwood? Exactly. Let's try exactly. five golden rings for 300, Alex. At first, Baby can only gum this rubber toy, but he'll be biting it soon enough. Player three. What is a teething ring? Correct. Pick again. Five golden rings for 400? In the old days, if you found this item at the dinner table, you'd assume what it held had already been used. Player two? What is a napkin ring? Absolutely. Pick again. And the final answer of the round. It's the popular name of the chain of volcanoes circling the Pacific Ocean. Player one. What is the ring of fire? Exactly. That's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's take a look at the scores. Good job, player one. You've got the lead. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. You're in last place, player three, but you get to start things off in double Jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time. I'll try C in history for 200, please. Plutarch wrote of this queen depicted here. Plato admits four sorts of flattery, but she had a thousand. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. Who was Cleopatra? That's it. You really know your history. See in history for 400. An alphabetical list of this Russian empress's lovers might end with Zubov, but we can't be sure. Player one. Who was Catherine the Great? Exactly. See in history for 600. A civil war, known as the War of a Thousand Days, broke out in this South American country in 1899. Player one. What is Colombia? Yes. History for 800. Charles Martel, grandfather of this great king, hammered Burgundy in 733. Nobody? This is the correct question. See in history for a thousand. Answer? The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? Um, 1700. Bassianus was the original name of this Roman emperor known for his baths. Player one. Uh, what is Caracalla? Who's Caracalla? Correct. Pick again. Uh, let's do uh, piano keys for 200. Heard here, it's the only letter in piano that corresponds to a piano key. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. What is A? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> keys for 400. Of the two types of piano keys and a Paul McCartney Stevie Wonder hit, it's what G flat, the note heard here is. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. What is ebony? Exactly. Piano keys for 600. A six string guitar has two strings tuned to this note, each corresponding to the piano key heard here. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. What is E? <laughs> Absolutely. Pick again. Keys for 800. Heard here, they're adjacent on the keyboard as well as in an abbreviation for a popular format of recorded music. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. What are CD? Right, keep going. You control the board. Piano keys for 1,000. Heard here, it's the key the French call le do du milieu du piano. Okay, here is the clue. Anyone at all? Here's what we were looking Middle for. Middle C. 
Uh, personal products for 200 A fig-flavored version of this excellent laxative didn't go over, so the company stuck with chocolate. Player one. What is X-Lax? That's correct. Products for 400 Deciding in the 1950s to expand its line, Gillette left competitors behind with this right men's deodorant. Player one. What is right guard? Exactly. Products for 600 In 1948, Bristol Myers added antacids to aspirin and created this product. Is that it? Anyone? This is the correct question. Products for 800 This clean makeup used ingredients of Noxema as its base. Nobody? Here's what we were looking for. Products for a thousand. In 1971, flavors were added to this lip balm stick invented by Dr. C.D. Fleet in the 1880s. Player one. What is a uh, chapstick? Definitely. Oh, Henry's for 200. He hammered a career total of 755 major league home runs. Player one. Who is Hank Aaron? Right, keep going. You control the board. Henry's for this 400. This screenwriter penned The Graduate and Protocol. Nobody? This is the correct question. Henry for 600. Answer, the Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? Um, let's do, uh... Thirty-two hundred. This scandalous author married June Mansfield on June first, nineteen twenty-four. Player one. Who is Henry Miller? Yes, it was him. So keep it going. <laughs> Henry for eight hundred. Give me this man who was governor of Virginia from 1776 to 1779, and again from 1784 to 1786. Player one. Who is uh, Patrick Henry? Absolutely. Pick again. Henry for a thousand. With works like Elements, he flowered as the resident poet on TV's Laugh-In. Anybody? This is the correct question. Written word for 200. This Mark Twain boy appeared on the sidewalk with a bucket of whitewash and a long-handled brush. Player one. Who is Tom Sawyer? Exactly. Written word for 400. His letter to the Thessalonians, written about 51 A.D., is considered the earliest New Testament writing. Anyone? Wow, player two and player we three have not was answered rung in yet on this round. <laughs> written word for 600. A tattooed cannibal is Starbucks Harpooner aboard the Pequod in this 1851 novel. Nobody? Here's what we were looking for. Moby Dick. Written word for 800. The only thing this Wizard of Oz character was afraid of was a lighted match. Player one. Who is Scarecrow? That's correct. Written word for 1,000. In 1941, his story, The Devil and Daniel Webster, was adapted as a film starring Edward Arnold. Anyone? Here's what One we category for. left this round, and still no ring-ins from player two and three. Uh, Celtics for 200. No one knows why Stonehenge was built, but these Celtic priests usually, and incorrectly, get credit for it. Anyone at all? This uh, is what we wanted. 
Celtics for 400. This legendary Celtic bird was enshrined in the NBA Hall of Fame October 2nd, 1998. Player one. Who is Larry Bird? You're in fine, fine form, so pick again. again. <laughs> Celtic 600. The Celtic horse goddess Rhiannon shares her name with a 1976 hit by this band. Player one. Who are Fleetwood Mac? Absolutely. Rest Pick in again. peace, Christy McVie. 800 Celtics. From 1959 to 1966, the Celtics won eight straight NBA titles led by this colorful coach. Nobody? Take a look. Here's Red the right response. Here's the final answer on this board. Celtic languages are spoken in Ireland and this new Scottish Canadian province that includes Cape Britain Island. Player one. What is Newfoundland? Good answer, but oh, sorry. That's Prince wrong. Edward Island. Nobody? Player two? What is Nova Scotia? No, oh, Nova Scotia. That's the spot exactly. Finally, player two got something. The Let's last clue of the round, and finally player two get, and, or player three gets player something. One, you've got the lead going into Final Jeopardy. Player two, you're not too far off the I lead. drew that, it's still I drew that game, face very badly. It's that time, folks. Final Jeopardy. We'll take a look at the category, and then we'll give you a couple of seconds to think about your wager. Prime Ministers. Prime Ministers. All right, go ahead. Make your wager. Make your wager. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. For an even $20,000. The final Jeopardy answer is as follows. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. One of the four countries that have had prime ministers who were father and daughter. Let's see how everyone did. Player three, your question. Oh, sorry, that's Philippines is incorrect. not one of the four countries. How much did it cost you? Player two, your question. Player two question. didn't come up with that's anything. Not right, I'm sorry. <laughs> and your wager? <laughs> your question, player one. Very good. Yes! What was your wager? We got it! Congratulations to our big winner. Player India one. is one of the correct countries. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. Hi, folks. And Michael just Goodman. won twenty thousand dollars from this segment, way, and we'll see you later for segment nine. Be a den brother or sister today, and check out my new link, my links to the Den of Games store and to my Rock and Song Stories podcasts.